Magnus, how do you think I'm going to hold up training with a pro climber for the day? I think you're going to die. Like actually die. 0.4% of people make it to becoming a professional athlete. The life of a professional competition climber is something that is relatively unknown. So I, an amateur climber who has dreamed of being a pro climber ever since I started climbing, am going to join professional climber and Olympic hopeful Zhenya Kazbakova for a day of training in preparation for the Olympics. That was awesome! To start off with, here is a little about Zhenya. I have been climbing my whole life. I basically do not remember myself not climbing. My parents were professional athletes uh, standing on the podiums of the World Cups. So when I was eight, I came to them and I said that I want to be like you. I want to be a professional climber. From that age, they started helping me and I started competing. And at 13 years, I won my first Youth World Championship and climbed an 80 plus route. And since then, I've been just doing it professionally competing, traveling, following my parents' steps. We start with warm-up and mobility. Okay. That's okay. what I start my every session. So for this video, I've done quite a lot of training. I did, uh, I watched, um, you know that scene in Mission Impossible when Tom Cruise like slides off the, yeah. off the thing and then catches like that. Right, have um, you done that? No, I watched the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you, you feel prepared? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think I'm ready, yeah. We warmed up for about an hour doing a bunch of Zhenya's mobility exercises and as you can tell, I was a natural. <laughs> would you say my mobility <laughs> is at is the level of a pro climber right now? Uh, how would you say I'm doing? The warm up is probably the, mo the, the most boring part yeah. of the training, <laughs> but it is so important. Shall we go climb? Yes. Cool. Snail. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> The next step is warm up on boulders. We usually just hop on some joggy climbs until we feel ready to step up our game. Woohoo! Beautiful. Cabbage. <laughs> How many of those did you have? Too many. I think I think I think my limit's yeah, almost there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Why do you make everything look so much easier than it is? <laughs> you got it, come on. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, I, mean, I got that. You make everything look like, even just getting on that is actually really hard. Wait, it's just because I'm a small climber, I have smaller hands, <laughs> and it just fits me better, <laughs> and you know, because I'm a woman and I'm more flexible. <laughs> Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Continue. Okay, I, I'll continue. Let's see. Do you see that? <laughs> we'll just speed up the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, as some of you may know, Magnus and me are best friends. Come on, Magnus. Come say hello. Hello, Josh's YouTube. Please subscribe. So I know it's hard to tell, but this actually isn't Magnus McBoat. <laughs> it's an actor. But, oh, come on, Josh. When are we going to do some one-arm pull-ups? It's not a great actor, but it's an actor. <laughs> As we all know, Magnus owns a company called Rungni, which make the best climbing clothes and chalk in the world. So if you're looking for a new pair of climbing pants, then Rungni make three amazing pairs of climbing pants. These are the anchor pants, which are my favorite. They are super comfortable, super stylish, and you can wear them literally anywhere. They also make brilliant t-shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts. If you see me at the wall having a session, you can be pretty much guaranteed that I will be wearing at least one piece of Rungni clothing. If you want to pick up some Rungni clothing like Magnus is wearing here, or I'm wearing here, go to the link in my description and use the code FREECHALKJR to get a free bag of Magnus with every order, which is it's the best chalk in the world. Oh. Are you one of those climbers that like even when you're trying really hard it still looks easy? I feel like it's a tricky question. If I say yes, do I seem arrogant? If I say no, no, no all, do no. I lie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's just because I've been climbing my whole life mm -hmm. and it's something as natural as walking to me. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, sometimes I make things look 
easier than it is just because my technique is basically ingrained in my body. Yeah, yeah. Is this a slab? This is a slab, isn't it? Yeah. No, this is vertical. Oh, this is a slab. Anything, anything beyond Yeah, but that this is, is not. A, that, this that's is not. not a slab. And anything after that is a slab. That's it's, not how it works. It is. It is. No. Trust me, um, I'm, I'm a professional. You're the professional? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. You got it. Nice. Oh, yeah, that hold is shit. You got it, you got it. Next one is good. So, as my coach, Shania, yeah. am I ready for World Cups yet? Do you reckon? If you want to be World Cup ready, then all you have to do is press that subscribe button and you are guaranteed an Olympic gold medal, T's and T's apply. All right, so is this where we move on to now? Harder grade. Harder stuff. Yeah. So, so how do you do it? Do you like pick out like five boulders or three boulders? Or do you just like, just climb basically? I usually just climb. I usually look whatever it interests me uh -huh. and, and then do it. Okay. Um, yeah, until I feel like I got tired, I guess. Uh -huh. So there's like different kinds of training. Sometimes I do uh, like one shots or two shots where I spend only one or two tries per boulder mm -hmm. to kind of remember the flash format and to remember to try hard on the first try. Uh -huh. But today that's not the goal. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna uh, go around and climb hard stuff. Sometimes they say the best training for climbing is climbing. Come on. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. But you're a slab master, aren't you? Oh yeah, I red. love <laughs> slabs. I love slabs too. Why are you laughing? No, no, no. Just because uh, <laughs> <Is it? laughs> most of the people there are like, we hate slabs. No, I, like, I, I, I really love slabs. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they're my favorite thing. We should do some slab climbing then. I don't love them that much. Come on, Josh. Oh, come oh. on. You were pulling a bit too much with your arms yeah. and stood a bit too little with the on feet. your feet. Yeah. Yeah, that's been said before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. By only climbing powerful boulders and <laughs> By no slabs. slabs. Exactly yeah. that. Oh no. One more go. One more go. Sorry. <laughs> One more. One. What, are you, what are you laughing at? Is it my brilliance? <laughs> no, I mean, that's totally fine. I think that's what training consists of. Mm. People think that it's just like you come and you climb the first thing or first, second go, and then you walk away. But sometimes I stay with a boulder that I cannot do for, I can stay for an hour and a half mm -hmm. and be just as stubborn as I can be and try and fail and fail and fail. And it gets so annoying. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you learn. You got it, you got it. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Stay with it, come on. You got it, you got it. No! Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> so close! I noticed, yeah, when I trusted it more, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I had to stand on a different foot that I didn't trust, <laughs> and it all went away again. <laughs> and I fell off. You have to keep it in mind all the time. How long are your training sessions normally, Eugenia, when you, from warm up to finish? Usually they're around four to five hours. Mm -hmm. That doesn't include the stuff that I do in the fitness gym. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I'm at home, I basically train the whole day. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like leave at 9 a.m. and yeah. I come home for lunch and then I train until 5, 6 p.m. Wow. So the whole day, whole day. Yes. Is, yeah. is gone. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that for four to five hours of climbing? So no, it's usually the warm up usually takes around uh, one hour until I feel like I can push uh, 
during climbing. Yeah. And then it also includes either hangboard or campusing or some specific exercise or specific workouts mm -hmm. that I do. So climbing, it kind of depends uh, on, on my session. Sometimes I could climb for only two hours, but mm -hmm. it would be like intense climbing or sometimes it could last four hours, five hours. Yeah depends a lot on how I feel. I, I go by feel a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's not very strict. It's more of like, okay, how much can I handle today? Go on. Oh, I do not think that's the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh. Come on, nice. Come on. Woo! Nice. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. How much do you tend to rest between boulders or just go on how you feel? Uh, yeah, usually not more than a few minutes. Do you like analyze what you're doing wrong or? Yeah, as a comp climber, you really have to learn quickly. If the boulder is tricky or if you didn't flash it, you have to analyze what you did, what are the other options. But otherwise, I just go with, like, I trust my body to learn from my previous attempt. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Oh damn, I started slipping. That was cool. Yeah, some stuff is just eats up chalk. And then once you're like at the top, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I cannot hold on. Come on. Nice. Oh. You all right? Yeah. My ass will be hurting tomorrow. <laughs> That thing is so slippery. I also grabbed it where it's no okay. tax. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Nice. Come on. Oh. oh, you have to switch to the heel, but it's so hard. Is the last hold good? Uh, the last hold. Probably good if you reach it. Snail. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you, do you know the turkey? It's a high five. Turkey. Have you turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I learned so much new stuff by the end of this session. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 come on. Ooh. Oh. I better. like that you decided to skip a bad hold. Well, yeah, all. I was thinking about it. I was thinking I really don't want to hold it. So I was like, well, what about the next one? Just match it in. I think I could move on just because I feel a little bit not frothy after the travel day. <laughs> not frothy? <laughs> not frothy. <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard that expression. I like it though. No, I, have a, I have a friend who is uh, British but uh, lives in Salt Lake now. And yeah. uh, usually when we warm up, he's like, feeling frothy <laughs> <laughs> so yeah today is how i don't feel it's frothy. unfrothy, unfrothy. I, I feel unfrothy <laughs> nice okay let's leave, move on to more frothy climb <laughs> perfect do you want to flash it first uh i can try nice Ooh. Ooh. oh i like that very body tensiony you can reach that though Got it. Yes. Nice. Come on. Oh. No. Oh, that top hold's rubbish. Yeah, you're right. I could just reach it. It's much easier than reach. Have you tried reaching it? Uh, <laughs> right. I'll do it next try. Nice. Easy. Come on. Nice. Nice. 
on, Ali. Come on. Come on. Nice. Here we go. That was awesome. Oh man, that was such a wide pinch. Yeah. I was like, ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you climb outside much anymore or is it mainly just focusing on competitions now? Uh, before the Olympics, I made the commitment and be, made it my priority to do mostly indoor to prepare myself for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully after, in 2025, I can um, spend more time outside on my outside projects. Nice. Are you, have you qualified for the Olympics yet? Sorry. Uh, so I have... <laughs> my qualifications it's called olympic qualification series mm -hmm. uh in may and june yeah i'm gonna do those and goal. yeah hopefully nice i want everyone to comment down below genya for the olympics Yay! yeah i'm just happy i have the opportunity to do it because there's a much deeper meaning for me with ukraine being at war and fighting for the peace I feel like it is so important for me to get to the Olympics and keep showing up for Ukraine. Represent, yeah. You're like standing like in the finals of a bouldering oh, yeah, comp, yeah, yeah. face to the crowd. I'm ready for the World Cup. Your four minutes start now. Yeah, okay. Um, the crowd's cheering. I can hear them. Josh, Josh, Josh. Yeah, you got it. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Nice, drop me. Come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it. <gasps> oh. That was great. You were so close to the wall because you did the drop, knee. the drop knee. It was amazing. Thanks. First bit of praise today. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think the jump looks really fun. Oh, nice. Yeah, that felt close. Yeah, come on. Oh, Woo! I missed it. I was like, I, I stopped looking at my foot and landed like there. Yeah, with such swings, you want to create a lot of swing uh -huh. and then you have to still know how to navigate it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's useless. You want to land not only your feet, but also your hips mm -hmm. right after your feet to continue with the move. I always think that's the hardest part is the hip pit, like creating momentum and going forward, but then landing those hips where they want to be to then continue it is really difficult. Yeah, I think that's climbing in itself. Yeah. I think if you look at all the like professional climbers who are good with movement, mm -hmm. they all of them know how to use their hips mm -hmm. on the wall. Big talk there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how to do it. Come climbing is so much fun. A lot of cardio involved. <laughs> Honestly, that is true. Most of the times you feel like you're just fighting with a bear. Yeah. Come on. Ooh, nice. Do you fight a lot of bears? Um, you know, I live in Ukraine. Come on. Nice. Come on. Nice. That was sick. Sometimes skipping the holes is the way. <laughs> Do you know how to create more swing? Just so keep going. <laughs> Push off the wall more. <laughs> There's nothing more I can teach you. <laughs> uh, so when I create the swing, yeah. I start with bent arms. Bent arms. And I swing. Mm -hmm. And then on the last swing, when I know I'm going to go, yeah. I release yeah. and I create more space. And that kind of helps my swing and my body to continue with the momentum. Yeah, release. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I felt... Did uh, you? Yeah, I don't know. It, it felt like you didn't turn so your body was like looking this way yeah. where it has to look that way to the direction of where you're going of the, so where you're going so i felt like i'm going in i'm jumping into the corner then yes but you don't want to if you would wanted if you would have wanted to stop in the corner then that's what you would do yeah. but because you need to continue you yeah. want to 
look like face, your hips should be facing where you're gonna go. I'm gonna do it this time. Come on. <sighs> that was better. I honestly didn't think this model was gonna be as hard as I'm finding it. I thought it was gonna be fine. That's good. That's, that means that you will learn something. I've al wow, always been told that if you do something first try, that doesn't mean you have learned anything. It just means that's where your level at is. But for training, you want to challenge yourself on stuff that you can learn on. Mm -hmm. If you just go and flash everything, basically it's a useless training. Why? Nice. That's fun. Nice. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, I think the stuffing is actually easier than doing the jump. Right. Think about all the things. Come on. Oh, I touched them. You did. I think what you said in the beginning threw me off because you said, think about all of the things oh, that right. I said, but that's exactly what you shouldn't do. Oh, okay. Because it's, no, no, meaning that like you have lots of information that you have to, like you just received, right? About mm -hmm. like what you have to do, what you shouldn't do. But once you're on the wall, you should just turn off your head okay. and trust your body that it understands what you want from it. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> it's closer. I'm getting absolutely spanked. So far, I've got close to two, not including that one. I don't know how it counts. And I've done none. This is climbing. So, but I'm, I'm closer to being World Cup ready though, aren't I? I'll just keep ignoring him with that question. <laughs> <laughs> so next we are gonna do some campus boulders. Uh, usually I do them uh, after I did my bouldering and I got a little bit tired and now I'm gonna tire out my big muscles. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, look. That was so cool. <laughs> I think Is we would have to like jump or something. Come on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know what went on there, but it wasn't pretty whatever it was. I chose such a good warm-up boulder. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> Straight into it. Well, a really big swing and just jump. And, and jump, yeah. and jump into two. That yeah. would be so Bam. cool. Ooh, oh, nice, that was close. Yeah. That was really close. I didn't reach the left hand just by a little bit. Yeah. What have you found the benefits of campusing boulders for when you're training? Uh, I guess explosive power and just the ability of finding good options when you... Honestly, it's actually just not being afraid of campusing. Because mm. I think as a female climber, I had an idea in my head that I'm not strong enough to do it. Mm. So it was just very important to start doing it and proving myself wrong. So I can then, when I see something at the competition, I don't get too intimidated by it. Mm. And I just can go out and try my hardest. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, you my hand was on. It was, it was, yeah, a little, a little bit more height maybe. And it was, Yeah. my hand was. It almost was, looked just... like you, you could like reach it. Cause I don't think you like properly jumped. Oh, I felt like a big jump to me. <laughs> this is the thing, right? Being tall, it, I feel like, I was like, wow, I jumped really far. And then people were just like, you didn't really go anywhere because you just like can reach. <laughs> Training like a comp pro climber, I gotta say, it's hard. I, try, I, thought, I thought I trained a lot, but I feel like I'm getting my ass absolutely destroyed. It's so funny how I thought it would be an easy boulder. We're gonna do it first try and then we're gonna move on. And now we are stuck on it. Here we are, 20 goes later each. Exactly. Deep in the project that you came. <laughs> project mode. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Oh my, oh god. my god! That was amazing. Come on. I should have done it. Come on. Come on, Come on, come on. Oh, no. Damn! How could I fall there? No! <laughs> I'm so frustrated! <laughs> it's cool to see, because uh, like on my usual session, I think I would have looked at it, tried it and be like, oh, that's too hard or too far, mm. and then probably moved on. But now I'm like feeling kind of curious uh, if it is possible, where I know it's possible, it's mm. just, yeah. 
Got Gotta do. make it work. Yeah. Do you find training with other people, yeah, do you prefer training with other people or by yourself? Uh, it actually depends a lot on the person because mm -hmm. there can be a lot of, um, there can be healthy competitiveness mm -hmm. and then there can be very toxic um, behavior. <laughs> yeah. And it's like tricky, like with some people you just click and mm -hmm. it's fun and you like push each other and with other people you just feel like it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Makes yeah, sense. for me it's very individual. You're good though. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I must be about 50% on the way to being a professional uh, comp climber, pro uh, World Cup circuit climber. I know Eugenia, you know, she's, she's like not, not giving that much away when it comes to how close I am to being a World Cup climber, but I think she's secretly like this guy, Olympics, World Cups, World Championships. Andre, he's, he's quaking in his boots right now. Andre who? Andre who, exactly. Watch out everyone, there's another guy with a long neck in town. <laughs> we could get you a crown if you do it. Not like an expensive crown, probably like a Burger King one. I mean, the budget's pretty small on this. A Burger King <laughs> crown? I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> the Queen's not using hers anymore, to be fair. We could get that one. Come on. Yes! That looks so good, come on. Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on. Yes! Amazing! Yes! <laughs> Yay! Nice! Oh, that I, was so cool! That was great! I just watched what you did. And then, yeah, when you flick the hips, you create so much more momentum yeah. than just using your arms. Come on. Come on, yes! Come on. Come on. Nice! Nice. Yes. Yes. Team Sun. That was great. One after the other. Call the Sun Train. Yes. See, that's what happens when <laughs> someone does something before me. My competitiveness <laughs> the is just switch like, is on. I got to do it. <laughs> Purple. Yeah, that looks good. Come on, come on. Whoa, nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! No! I missed it! Fast Just move. by a little bit. <sighs> I think we look pretty much the same to be honest on that. By the way, if I smell of onions, it's because I have an onion leave very onion wrap. Just don't want everyone to know that. I don't normally smell like onions, but the wrap had a lot of onions in it. So for those viewers watching on smell vision uh, which is a new update on YouTube where the smell comes out the computer or the phone. Uh, Ew. I know, it's weird, right? But you know, AI, all this technology coming out. Oh. Uh, it, that it was, it was a wrap, it's not me. I normally smell lovely. It's not the feet either. I see that. <laughs> yeah, just go big, come on. Yes, like this. <laughs> Such a weird mo you movement. You cut, cut off your swing though. Like yeah. you started swinging from side to side and then you remembered that you have to go up. Yeah. So you did not, <laughs> none of those. You, you did something in between where you should have concentrated on not this movement, but on this movement. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bam, finally, we can move on. Thank you very much. I don't, I don't need to try anymore. That's great, yeah. You gonna try? I don't need to. Jenny's just done it, yeah. For the team. Because this is a team, this climb is a team sport. So everything that Jenny has done today, I've also done. That'd be nice. You got it, you got it. Oh my yes. god, yes! <sighs> Team yes. Send again. That oh. was great. And maybe I was thinking that you'd done it, so I also have to do it now. There we it go. helped, yeah. That's it works what... both ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more canvas boulder. Yeah. 
But maybe not this purple. This one looks... Why not? Because I thought it maybe looks a bit too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? I do not think it looks too easy. Oh, oh it's kind of awkward what? to catch. That's so far. There we go, that's the first problem. I cannot reach the want, third. <laughs> do you want me to? Oh, it's fine. I'll jump. This is where we need someone else to, you know at school where they'd like push you over if someone did this? What's happening right here? Well, I was, I was gonna be I a stool. I turned for a second and <laughs> he's on his knees. I was gonna be a stool, but. <laughs> <laughs> Already, you moved quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling my partner that you guys seem so nice. <laughs> Nice. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Easy money. Oh, the money. Come on. Super good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that's so far. Miles. Woo. Nice. Come on. Come on, Josh. That's it, come on. Go big. Come on, come on. <gasps> Let's go. Oh. oh my god, no! <laughs> so, am I World Cup ready yet? What did you say? You need me there? I'm coming. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you gotta, a little gotta bit. Kick, kick those hips more, Jenny. Oh. <laughs> gotta kick came, the hips. It came back to me. <laughs> Karma came back to me. <laughs> That's it, come on. Let's go. You got it, yes. Nice. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on, strong. <coughs> oh! Oh, I don't think that really counts, but I, can't, I know I'm not going to be able to hold I that top hold. That was good. So, last part of your training session. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do my core workout. That's five of my favorite exercises that I do very often. What did you say to me when the camera's off? You said uh, you're going to make me wish that I never asked you to do a video. <laughs> it was off the camera. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, what the, what the f That's it, right, I'm leaving. I, I'm, the video is done. I don't want to be here anymore. This is, I, I can't take it. We're on the first set of the first exercise. <laughs> He's already leaving. I can't believe how difficult that is. Like, it, you made it look so easy. I was like, that's going to be fine. Like, no worries. Well, we have three sets of this. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. It's a really great exercise because you can modify it for any level, really. Because if you are still struggling... <laughs> Please carry on. <laughs> you can uh, do it from the knees, even, mm. and it will still be beneficial. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? I'm great. We still have four exercises to it's go. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just warming up. I'm just warming up. The further you go, the harder it will be. Yep. <laughs> this doesn't make me look good on the video, I don't think. Do you regret yet that you asked me to film the video? Starting to get there, yeah, I'm on the verge. <laughs> Do you reckon you could make it look a little bit harder so people at home think that I'm, like, not really shit, but just, like, a bit shit? You don't have to make me look really... You don't have to make, you know, me look really good. Just, just not as bad as you are making me look. That would be great. <laughs> Thanks. This is the hard one. I, <laughs> I this, warned you. What? <laughs> okay, I didn't hear that. I did not hear that. It's gone. Push here. Yes, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <this> <laughs> you are even. You're right. <laughs> this is embarrassing. This is. This is all not going in the video. <laughs> Oh, damn. <sighs> wouldn't be a workout if I wouldn't oh, get tired. It's nice to see you look a bit tired, to be honest. 
Nice, come on. And that's it. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I love this exercise. Love is an interesting phrase, isn't it? It's used so freely. Didn't touch it. There we go. No swinging. No swinging. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you. That was okay. Super relatable to climbing because yeah, yeah. so many times when you cut feet, you have to put it back, back on. on. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's a really good exercise yeah. too. <laughs> The video is over. <laughs> In the description, there's a list of these exercises. So, if you want to, you know, you've had a bad day, you don't really like yourself, do this one because uh, it fits in well. The last one. Actually, I, I think is the chillest one. The, really? The others have been pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought as well. I don't know how they could be any more chill. Yeah. Then I think you've gone soft. That looks easy. Do you find it easy? Yeah. Then you just have to make a step away from the bar. Okay. Yeah, you can like control how hard or how... That's quite good with these, these exercises. It's not like you have to do this many sets, reps or whatever. You can very much tailor it to your ability, can't yeah. you? Which is nice. Yep, that's much harder. <laughs> okay, she hasn't gone soft. Yeah, if you're laughing while doing them, that's like yeah. plus do 10 points. Do you want me to make you laugh? <laughs> uh... That was a good joke thing. <laughs> Oh man, whoo. Last one? Last one, yeah. Nice. Whew. We did good, good job. Yeah. You still have one was, more. No, we did it. Come on, try hard. I did it, <laughs> Jaws. Yay, that was awesome. Oh, see, he's ready. He's ready. <laughs> Am I woke up ready, yeah, Shen? Am I woke up ready? Thank you so much for showing us what it's like to train as a professional climber. Thank Good luck with the joining. Olympics. It's been amazing. 10% of uh, the AdSense for this video is going to support people in Ukraine. So all you have to do is, if you want to donate, there's going to be a link below. But all you have to also do is just send this to a friend and then there'll be more views, more money, more money can go to people of Ukraine. Love you. Bye. Peace.